Okay, I'm back, and in the previous segment, we were talking about how to locate constellations. Now we want to talk about how the position of the constellations in the sky changes. And the first thing is, how does it change depending on the time of day? So you can do, you know that this one is true because let's say go out tonight and find a particular constellation that is directly over your head. And then go back outside like an hour later and try to find that constellation and you will see that it has moved. So that constellations uh, tend to rise in the east and set in the west the same way that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west and then the moon rises in the east and sets in the west. So it's not that the sun and the moon and the constellations are really moving, it's because it's the earth that is rotating. So you can do this with the globe uh, pretty easily, but let's use the celestial sphere as our example. And let's say that you're in the United States here and you are looking directly over your head, then you're going to see certain constellations. Okay, but then because the earth is rotating, so we can rotate the earth and we need to rotate the earth counterclockwise. We'll find out later why. But if we rotate it counterclockwise and we look straight over our head, well, we're not going to be seeing that same star or constellation anymore. You're going to be over here somewhere looking at this one because the earth is rotating. So the stars and planets and sun and moon, they all come up in the east and they set in the west because of the rotation of the earth itself. Okay, let's go on to another one here. It also depends on your location. So here we've got two people that are looking at this particular uh, constellation. And so if you are on the equator and you look straight over your head, you're going to see that constellation. But the further north you go, so the, the more northerly your latitude becomes, the more southerly the constellation becomes. So that if you are all the way up there at the North Pole, and then you were to look at the same constellation that that person at the equator was looking at, you then would say it's really on the southern horizon. So constellations appear to be in certain locations because of where you're at on the Earth's surface. What latitude are you looking at? Some constellations cannot be seen at all. So a, let's say again that you're up there at the the North Pole and you're looking for the Southern Cross. Well the Southern Cross it's in the south so it's in the Southern Hemisphere. It's one of these constellations down here in the Southern Hemisphere and you wouldn't be able to see it from the North Pole because it would be below the Southern Horizon. So where would you have to be? Well you'd have to be in the, the Southern Hemisphere before you could see one of those Southern constellations that are very close to the, the South Pole. Now even here in Missouri we can see a few constellations that are below the celestial equator but not many of them so they are very low on the southern horizon. Okay now let's go to our third one that constellations can be seen at certain times of the year. So I got a video here that I want you to watch. So if you will just uh, copy that constellation location, Crash Course Kids, episode 31.2. Go ahead, watch the video. Are you watching it? Okay, did you get done? So what that video showed you was that sometimes uh, certain constellations are visible at certain times of the year. So let's, let's talk about Orion. Orion was the one that had the three stars. It had the damn dirty apes, remember that? 
So it's a winter constellation. That means that you can very easily see Orion during the winter time. But during the summertime, you don't see it. Why? It's because the sun is in the way. So in that picture there, you can see that constellation very easily because it's on the night side of the Earth. But if you were to take that constellate or that planet, Earth, and move it over to the other side of the sun, now the sun's in the way so that you cannot see that constellation. So here I can take my sun and I can move it around. Now this gives you the idea that the sun moves around the earth, but it doesn't. But with this, with it in this position, any constellation over here, you wouldn't be able to see. But constellations on this side, you would be able to see because this would be the night side of the earth. And then six months later, so let me rotate it around, six months later the earth is on the other side of the sun and so now these constellations would be visible and now these you wouldn't be able to see because it'd be during the daytime. Now remarkably though you can see them during an eclipse. So if it's a total eclipse of the sun, you actually can see some of the stars that are actually out. They're always out there, it's just that you would not normally be able to see them because the sun's getting in the way. So we got one last topic that we need to talk about and that's going to be precession and I'll do that in the next segment.